What's going on guys? So in a recent video I did, I basically got a question that was asked to me by BenJ1166. They ask, between common date with lower price and rarer date with higher price, which one would you choose? I asked this question because I was offered an $18.99 $10 MS60 for 1K and an 1886 $10 MS61 for one, I guess, 1K and $100. Finally, I decided to go with the 1886, which is rarer. It would be great if you could make a video talking about this topic. So, Ben J, thank you for your question, and we are going to answer it right now. So guys, as you can see here, I have two examples of two and a half dollar liberties from relatively the same time period, relatively the same condition, although the 1878S is a little higher than the 1869. We're going to talk about mintages and prices. So as far as the 1869 uh, two and a half dollar Liberty, the mintage on that coin was 4,320 with a survival estimate of only 150 from PCGS. Now the 1878S, there were, I believe, 380,000 minted with a survival estimate of 3,500. So the 1878S is a lot more common. However, if you compare it to the 1869, which is a lot rarer, you would assume that the price of the 1869 would be more. And yes, while this is the case, the 1869 is more. I paid approximately 40% more than I did for the other one in a slightly higher grade and a much higher known survival estimate. Um, I'm going to show you why it's not always the case that you would want to buy something that's rarer. As far as prices are concerned, guys, no one can predict the price of how much these things are going to go up or down. Pre-33 gold specifically, since Ben J talked specifically about pre-33 gold. I want to make that clear. This is not for other types of coins. This is specifically related to pre-33 gold. And again, I am not a financial advisor. What I say is my own opinion. So you got to do your research, guys. What do you want What for your collection? Which coins do you find most appealing? Do you find a coin like this more appealing because of its rarity? Or do you find a coin this more appealing because it's somewhat cheaper and in somewhat maybe better condition? Um, you really have to make that determination if you're willing to pay more money now for something that has the potential to go up a lot in the future or could go down or not increase as much as you had anticipated. Uh, you really don't know. We're going to see PCGS's price history for the past 10 years to show exactly how these two coins performed. And the results, guys, might be shocking. So stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see here, we have the price history for the past 10 years of the two coins and as you'll notice here that initially the rarer 1869 coin has a higher price it is almost double the price so we see here it's pretty consistent for the rarer coin whereas the more common 1878s price actually has decreased over time. You can see the percentage decrease starting from the 10-year history back in late 2013. And here, as time progresses, we see a pretty much steady price for the two coins, 
up until the pandemic, which as you might know, caused a massive interest in pre-33 gold and prices to dramatically increase. And as we can see here, the more common 1878S actually increased at a faster percentage compared to the much rarer 1869 $2.5 coin. Quite interesting that in 10 years, the value of the 1878 coin has increased by almost 61%, whereas the 1869 coin has only increased by 37.5%. Guys, as far as pre-33 gold is concerned, there's no real way of knowing the demand for something uh, increasing or decreasing for pre-33 gold. Some of it might have to do with more gold coins being found, either in vaults in banks in Europe or, or some type of hoard that was found that was buried treasure or something of that nature. Someone had a collection that was not known and it was brought to the market a lot at one time. Perhaps more of these 1869 coins were found on the market, although they only estimate 150 to be left. I don't know the reason why the 1878S increased at a faster clip than the 1869 coin although the 1878 is a lot more common than the 1869, there's no rhyme or reason. So my advice is basically buy what you feel comfortable with. You never know where the price is gonna go on these things. Sometimes the more common one today can be worth a lot more in the future. And go again, do your homework, do your research, find out what these are going for, and pretty much choose it, whatever you decide in the end, make sure it's a good investment for you. That's just my advice. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. And that's it, guys. Buy what you like. That's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching.